Alright, tackling Ranked again. If uh, you guys haven't seen what's happened to Ranked recently, you can watch one of my last videos. I think it was uh, when I was playing out my quest druid. So essentially they've changed up Ranked just a little bit. Honestly, it's not that big of a difference, but the rewards you get from playing now are quite nice. Lunara versus Uther. You're pretty much guaranteed a rare card if you play. The forest fights back. And, uh... Oh, okay, this is an interesting hand. And, uh, once you reach, I think it's Bronze 5, you're guaranteed a pack. Which is pretty dope as a reward. You don't often get that from last ranked. Oh, hello. Also, after beating the Lich King and figuring out how to, uh, change my hero, I realized that I also had quite a few other heroes that I didn't didn't know about. So I've got Lunara. Fuck knows what I did to get that. But I definitely didn't pay any money for it. I've also got... Oh god. I need to die. I've also got uh, Maiev as a hero. Which is uh, quite nice as well. Do we pull Ace? Keep a Stelladris here just to get presents on the board. We honestly might. But to be fair, once we uh, once we get our hero power, or or just in general, once we star fall, we should be good. Yeah, whatever. They're pathetic minions until you play the one that gives them all two health. Okay, we just need to survive for two turns. And to be honest, with Malox, that's pretty easy to do. You just have to make sure he doesn't play something like that along with War Leader. Okay, thank fuck, he doesn't have a War Leader. Alright, yeah, we should be alright. Oof, and a Naturalize. That definitely helps us out. The only problem is, he could have a War Leader in hand. In which case, that would buff everything by two, except for this guy. Um, do we... If we get Archmage Vargoth here, that'd be pretty dope. Or Bone Wrath. Wraith. Um, but I don't want to... Um, we'll just do this. I didn't want to do that, because if we used Oaken Summons, that would spend all of our mana. We definitely need this quest before we can uh, focus on... Okay, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. As long as it's not War Leader, then we're alright. And to be honest, if we get Geomancer and he ignores it, that's also pretty handy. Justice demands retribution. That's just rude. Now that sets me up perfectly to star fall next turn. With any luck, he won't have another cold light seer. Come on. Yes, yes, my hero power has changed. Come on, don't play another cold light seer. I got the best deal Perfect. Oh my god. It even gives me something to target with the star fall. Miscalculation. Sorry, friend. Not really. Fuck Paladin Murloc. By the holy light. That was wild. Ha! <laughs> Get it. Okay, now if everything goes well, we can just nourish, possibly even naturalize here. Would be uh, nice not to. Reporting for duty. Well, I guess the good thing is it doesn't really matter if he gains any health from this. Okay, that's fine. I 
I know it's pretty useless to play that, but... Oh, there you go. Draw more cards. Luckily I've got poison seeds. To, uh, potentially ruin whatever he has planned with Murlocs here. That's the only thing with Murlocs. Once you've played a few of them, you've kind of ran out of steam immediately. Because Murlocs are great for early game fuck up your opponent plays. But if you mess up that early game or you can't beat them early game, you're playing a bunch of cards that usually can't attack the turn you play them. Which is quite trash. Now remember kids, you, like you play Ferocious Hell first, and then Archmage Vargoth, so you get maximum value. Free of that blasted tower. Behold. Thank you very much. Now we're essentially back at 30 health. And he's run out of steam with Murlocs. We're in the clear. See how he's panicking? He's looking over all the cards he's got and he's like, Oh shit, what can I do? That's the that's the sign of a uh, Murloc player that's officially shit his pants. Look at that. Doesn't even know what he's playing anymore. It's quite sad. Alright. What have you got for me, game? What can you do? Oh no, please don't. Don't buff him even further. Oh, he did it. He did it. bit of an order issue on that one, but I suppose. And then we'll throw you out there to be annoying. And enter. Oof, that's one war leader gone. And both oracles are gone. Which is pretty dope. Go on then. Trade you one one. What? You're gonna waste a card on it? Don't tell me you're gonna waste a card on it. Ah, oh, this feels so good. Murloc Paladin is one of my most hated decks. To verse. Because honestly, most of my decks are quite slow. Okay, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Most of my decks are quite slow, and it is painful to verse something like this. I just completely despise it. Honestly, he's going to draw out his entire deck before I even get to my Jade Druid part. Reporting for duty. I don't mind drawing out your deck if you want to keep going. Gain some armor too. Probably kill off these murlocs. They're not a threat at the moment, but they very well can be if you give them a war leader and a cold light seer. You don't have much cards left, bud. And unless one of those cards is Skulking Geist, I'm afraid you're not going to be doing very well this game. Especially if I get my Starfall. Oh, I should have put a second swipe in my deck, huh? Bang, right there. Wiped. Okay, that's pretty good, pretty good. Worst comes to worst, we will Poison Seed, but at the moment, definitely not necessary. Starfall? Oh, Spreading Plague. This is a big uh-oh for him. Alright, I believe there's not much you can really do about that, is there? Except for something like Equality Consecrate or Pyromancer Equality. So, what in your hand can you use to wipe this? 
The only problem with Paladin is oftentimes if they don't use a Consecrate, it means that their own board gets fucked as well. If they're using, like, because Equality Consecrate costs 8 mana to do, but Pyromancer Equality costs 6. And it's an entire board wipe. So, is it really worth having all your minions on one health for two extra mana? Or would you rather just wipe everything? Let me I mean, Divine Shield survive it, but everything else doesn't. What have you got, my paladin friend? Simple Dozer. That's interesting. Okay. Good luck with that. Okay. I will admire your persistence. I'm not sure how far it'll get you, but I do admire. Alright, let's see if we can't draw the rest of our cards. Biology Project is pretty dope for that. Um, yeah, let's keep drawing. I know we could have just gotten that wisp thing, which would have been real nice, but mm, that could be handy. Secret tech option. Uh, that's also pretty dope. Let's draw some more cards. Gain some armor as well. And now here's the surprise. I'm running out of cards. Not if we keep shuffling more in. Okay. What do we attack? I'd say we get rid of this cold light. And then ignore everything else. Okay. With any luck, he doesn't have Skulking Geist. If he does. This game could go his way, depending on his last few cards. If he's got Alessiana, we're fucked. He's not Singleton, so we're not going to get screwed over by Dra Dragon Queen Alex Straza. Let's just see what happens. Okay. That's fairly good. Don't know if it'll win in the game. I don't think so, but... Go on. Attack with your stupid... What's it called? Threshadon. I could never see myself playing this, even in a Murloc deck. It doesn't seem worth it, to be honest. Alrighty. Um... Honestly, I don't know what to do. Probably just this. I know it's a bit of a waste with the uh, other one, but while we're just drawing jade items, we may as well build up our jade to be as big as possible. That's also pretty dope. Alright. Okay, that'll do it. You may have early game covered, boy, but late game is where I dwell. I'm sorry, but you cannot defeat Jade Idols when they're in late game mode. Unless, of course, you're playing Lifesteal Weapon Druid. Lay on hands? Really? What card did you draw that you think could help you with this? I apologize, my friend, but I believe this is the end for you.
Can't do it at the moment, but... I'll just leave it there, just to spare him. Because honestly, I fucking hate people that just take their time. I know it's like... I know it's, I know it's called BMing, standing for bad manners, in which you just kind of like show off to your opponent. It's like, yeah, I could have killed you 40 times over, but I don't want to waste anyone's time, and if this guy's actually going to be polite enough to let me finish the game with a hit, then uh, I will try my best to make it quick. Imagine if he just happened to be Singleton, like, right now, and just pulls off, like, a Reno, Alessiana. Just fucking makes a massive comeback. Well played. It was well played. Sadly, you didn't get the uh, war leader or the seer early enough. But, here's another win for me. Get the season card back, and then another five stars. If you don't know about the star bonus, essentially based on- Oh, that's adorable! Oh! I didn't know that was rank 7. No. Oh. But, um, anyway. <coughs> Games, sports, uh, beer, alcohol, partying, getting drunk, staying up late. Um, yeah, so based on your performance of last season of ranked, you will get a star boost. For example, mine is 5, and every time you rank up, not rank is in like getting from 8 to 7 but from say getting from bronze 5 to silver 10 it will uh, decrease your bonus over time so slowly you'll go back down to just one stars one win but it's quite handy to have a reward based on your last season's performance and it definitely does get you back up to the rank you were at beforehand anyway thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.